Is this the Red Hulk's first TV appearance way back in 1979 on Saturday morning? Stay tuned to discover who and what this is and what connection does it have to the TV Incredible Hulk's voice actor, Ted Cassidy. Some really cool stuff from television's past is on the way. First, let's take a look at when the first mention of the Red Hulk actually was, and that takes us to the creation of the Incredible Hulk show back in 1977 when Kenneth Johnson was developing the Hulk for television. He wanted the Hulk to be red because he was the color of rage, but Stan Lee just wouldn't go for that. Now, the Red Hulk actually appeared in comics in Hulk Volume 3, number 1, January 2008, and was created by Jeff Loeb and Ed McGinnis. The origin of Red Hulk was revealed in Hulk 23. Now let's go back to the 70s. In 1977, Bigfoot and Wild Boy was created as a segment for the Croft Super Show, which was a live-action Saturday morning collection of various shows. A legendary Bigfoot who, eight years ago, saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be Wild Boy. Bigfoot and Wild Boy seemed to copy the six million dollar man's bionic Bigfoot with similar sound effects and running in slow motion. The six million dollar man Bigfoot introduction episode was written of course by Kenneth Johnson. As far as I know, Johnson had nothing to do with Bigfoot and Wild Boy though. Now, there were no new episodes for Bigfoot and Wild Boy in 1978, but in the summer of 79, Bigfoot and Wild Boy got their own half an hour series without the Croft Super Show. Now, why it debuted in the summer is kind of weird. Now, I remember vaguely being very excited as a kid to get to see brand new episodes on Saturday morning. And in the summer, which was very unusual. Now, this episode in question was entitled The Birth of a Titan. It was first broadcast in June 16, 1979. Now before we get into the plot, I found something kind of interesting. The actor who played the Red Hulk looking monster known as Titan on this Bigfoot and Wild Boy episode also played Lurch on the 90's Adams Family movies. Yes, that's the same character that Ted Cassidy originally made famous. And Ted Cassidy, of course, went on to voice the Incredible Hulk on the Bill Bixby series before he died. Now, most of you probably already know that Ted Cassidy also coincidentally played Bigfoot the second time that Bionic Bigfoot appeared on the Six Million Dollar Man taking over for uh, Andre the Giant. I've done a video on Ted Cassidy you might find interesting and one on Bigfoot TV facts in general. I'll link to them at the end of the video. Oh, and Bigfoot actor Ray Young appeared on a Bionic Woman episode, Iron Ships and Dead Men, in 1977 as Bob Richards. Okay, now back to the Red Hulk-like creature in the Bigfoot and Wild Boy episode, The Birth of a Titan. The creature was a man transformed by radiation, just like the Hulk. He never spoke, he just growled a lot, kind of like the Hulk did in the TV show. The monster's shirt was ripped, but unlike the Hulk, he kept his shoes on. Which kind of didn't make sense, but it was probably easier that way for the actor. Okay, the end of this episode is a little disappointing. It gets you all worked up. It, you, you get right to the end, expecting this huge battle. And just as soon as the battle starts, it, it, it ends. Wild Boy closes this box that contains the radioactive substance that turned the man into the monster. And then he turns right back into a human being, right, right then and there. And this is disappointing, has before the man touched the radioactive substance, and he stayed a monster for like a couple of hours. But, you know, hey, it was, uh, it was only a low-budget half-hour Saturday morning TV sh show, so it was great for what they had to work with. <laughs> I do think that this does give you a rough idea of what the Red Hulk would have looked like had he been on a 1970s television show like the Incredible Hulk Bill Bixby series. Now as far as the Red Hulk's first official appearance on TV, I do believe it was on June 24, 2012 on the animated series Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Now let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong about that. Please subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos and comment below and uh, let me know what you think thanks have a great day Fire!